a health at every size advocate came out with cards so people, fat people for the most part, can tell their doctor not to weigh them in hopes to fight against fat phobia in the US. But if you ask me, I don't think we have enough fat phobia cause most of us are pretty fat over here. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello and welcome to my channel and my lazy video series. My name is Michelle McDaniel. You don't see my face, but if you need to, this is what I look like. By the way, you guys, I'm doing a question and answer video on this channel soon, so head over to my IG and ask those questions you've been wanting answers to. Let's go. These don't weigh me cards are game changing for doctor appointments. So the cards read don't weigh me unless it's in parentheses, really medically necessary. I mean, to be completely honest, most people carrying around this card, the doctor can probably tell that you are overweight. He can guesstimate, you know, 400, Tess Holiday, 300, Virtue Do Far, 600, Tammy. Can y'all imagine if Tammy really had this card? The Lord Jesus. So in the article, they say that for many people, regardless of size, which I agree, stepping on the scale at the doctor's office can be a triggering harmful experience, which I agree. I've met many slim, average, extremely overbeast, muscular people that get very weird when it comes to the scale. I was one. Please don't weigh me cards may offer a solution. The cards which are gaining a ton of attention online were created by moretolove.org, which is an organization that talks about weighing and eating disorders. And like I said, I can totally understand that the scale can be just a whole ass thing for someone. It can ruin your day and send you into a spiraling wind of depression. But I also am I'm someone who thinks sometimes you just gotta get over some things and not let inanimate objects control you. I personally was someone who would want to throw up before getting on the scale, not because I was bulimic in any way. I hate throwing up and will try by all means necessary to not throw up because it's gross. Like have y'all smelled throw up? Ew. But because it made me physically sick, like a scale, it literally does nothing but sit there and tell you some data. It's really not the scale that is causing problems, it's the fact that we let the number affect and control us. I personally prefer to get a hold of the control that the scale had over me rather than running away from it and then use some card to protect myself when I'm not really fixing the issue. But that's just me. I'm sure we are all completely different. Anyway, they are a subtle way to send a strong message to medical staff. Please don't weigh me unless it's really medically necessary. If you really need my weight, please tell me why so that I can give you my informed consent. Damn, we are getting consent for literally everything these days. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing or just like a really annoying thing. I'm not sure. I just personally think that you going to the doctor, you're going to be expected to get weighed, your blood pressure, etc., etc. It's like a little checkup on your stats. It goes the same way if you are thin, right? Like if you were 100 pounds. And then six months later, you go back in and now you're 70. The doctor's gonna be like, so everything okay there? Being weighed, particularly in front of someone else, is rarely a pleasant experience. I do agree. It is not fun when you've got issues when it comes to the scale. Oh my God. I don't know why, but in high school track, they weighed us in front of everyone. I was so pissed off at my coach. I hate him till this day, to be completely honest. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think he really knew what he was doing. Or was he just purposely humiliating us? I don't know, but I know I was heavier than all the other girls and it didn't feel good. But also, I was heavy. If I kept high away, I would still be a little five foot two fat Michelle. It was a very uncomfortable wake up call for myself. Beyond being uncomfortable, it can also be harmful, particularly for those dealing with disordered eating, eating disorders and body image issues because we live in a fat phobic society. Oh, there it is, fat phobia. By the way, this article was made by Self Magazine, the people who think the future of fitness is fatness, so this all makes sense. I knew we were gonna get to fat phobia sooner or later and look at that, there it is. We live in a fat phobic society, being weighed and talked about weight causes feelings of stress and shame. Many people feel anxiety about seeing the doctor and will avoid going to the doctor in order to avoid the scale, which I also understand. That was definitely me for a while, but then I got very tired of just being scared of a damn scale. I hate letting people control my emotions. I am not about to let a freaking object control them too. I was insecure about the number. I was clearly not someone that was anorexic or was obsessed with getting the number super low. I was only scared of the number because I was fat as hell and eating hot Cheetos, and cream cheese and regular cheese. Of course the number caused anxiety because it brought me into the reality of my poor life choices when it comes to food. I can understand people that struggle the opposite of what I struggle with and those that obsess over the scale. I can see saying I can do without it and you know measure my progress in other ways but I think that many people, especially in fat ass America, yeah I said it, 
we're fat. Honestly, we're fat as shit. I think many people here, and definitely the people in the fat acceptance community, and people like Tess Holiday, will use these cars and act like they have some disorder type of eating, which they do, but you know, the type of eating that I'm talking about, and body dysmorphia, this and that, and I have such a horrible time with my body, even though they're in a community where they proudly show their body and eat cake for the world to see. They're gonna use it to avoid being weighed as some type of power over a doctor so they can avoid seeing how heavy they are and stay in their weird fat fantasy world where fatness is fabulous when they all know that it's not, okay? Thigh chafing is the least of their worries. The article goes on and says that these cards are great because it will take the focus off weight when they go to the doctor and they can get appropriately diagnosed, which I do know that many obese people go to the doctor with a broken arm and the doctor's like, well, have you thought about losing weight? I get that, but uh, y'all know that they take your blood pressure, right? If you're fat as hell and have issues, it's gonna show in other ways. Are you gonna be scared of the blood pressure machine too? Do you need a card for that? So eventually, they're gonna bring up your weight once your weight gets really out of hand, which is also triggering for y'all. Everything is triggering for you. So you might be like me and ask, who the hell made these cards? Well, you guessed it, an obese woman, Jenny Jones of California, my state awesome, is the founder of morelove.org and the creator of Don't Weigh Me Cards. I posted them on my website kind of thinking maybe a couple people would be interested and they have had a huge demand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's America, so. And if you are interested, which some of you might, like I said, many people who are not even obese just get weird with the scale and it will literally control their whole life. Maybe you don't want to deal with those feelings and maybe you just want to avoid them. We're all different, I get that. So you can hop on to Joan's website and purchase them. Yeah, they cost freaking money. People, she is gonna make bank. That's hilarious to me. She is a genius, honestly, because many people do struggle with the scale and the doctors. Like I said, I was one, but I I personally would just tell them, you ain't weighing me. But I understand that some people are extremely shy and just have a hard time telling people no. I just personally like to deal with my triggers. I don't let inanimate objects control me and I personally don't care about this card. If people like Tess Holiday and other fat activists doesn't want to get weighed at the doctor's office, it doesn't do anything to me. They're killing themselves. So if you want a little card that makes you feel good about yourself, hey, the way that these people are living, they ain't gonna be living all that long. So I guess feel good while you can. So I'll sign off by saying good luck luck. You're gonna need it. Remember, you don't have to be a size two. Abs are great to have, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important. But if you don't care about health, well, then I'll just wish you a unhealthy life. Bye. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on Neighborhood all in your eardrums I ain't never scared like bone crush Boy, I got God, don't fear none My line busy, take no calls Feels like I don't have no flaws Snakes in the grass, cut those off Yo, old squad shady, my bros rock No breaks, we go, 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 go Throw shade, that's a no, no, no Go high, go low, low, low